this weekend and so forth. So I'd like to talk to you just for a minute about this, uh, uh, this parable from the Lord Jesus. So I have in front of me here um, six kernels of corn. And you're not going to be able to see them here at church or at home. I'm going to hold it, just tip it a little bit, but you're still not going to see it very well. There are six kernels of corn. Um, so let me just take one. And I don't know that you can see that. Um, but this is the kind of thing that all those farmers out in the country planted in the ground this spring. A seed just like this, something that, that from any kind of a distance you can't see. But if you do any driving in the country, now this time of year, Boy, you can sure see what came in that one seed, can't you? Got that big old corn just standing all over the place. Sometimes it gets so planted so close to the road you can't hardly see the intersection. It's so, and, it, and it's tall. I think even if you and I walked out in there, we might get lost. It might be taller than you and me. But you notice, though, that farmers don't talk about how tall all their corn gets, do they? They're not real, real concerned about how tall it gets as much as what are they really concerned about? How much corn it's going to produce, right? They want to look at those ears of corn. There may be a couple of them on that big, tall stalk. And when harvest time comes, they don't talk about how tall the corn was. They talk about how many of these little guys that I'm holding here in my hand, how many of those grew from the one little seed that was planted in the ground? Do you understand, kids, that the whole purpose of Jesus coming to you and me, and he meets you and me in his word, uh, he might meet us in Sunday school, or if you're a little older, you might go to a, a Christian day school. He might meet you in, the, in his word and family devotions. All kinds of ways that he comes to meet with you. And his desire is to help you understand his love for you. How much he loves you. Everything that he did for you. To help you wake up in the morning and say, My goodness, Jesus, and I know you still love me today. How can I live for you today? Because you see, just like the farmer, it's not about how tall the corn stalk is. It's all about the harvest. Jesus talked about bringing forth a crop a hundredfold. That's what the farmer's looking for in his cornfield. That's what Jesus is looking for with you and me as he meets with us in his word. God bless you as you continue to meet with him in his word. In the name of Jesus, amen. We'll continue with the next hymn.